Hello YouTube, time to play another Doom Snap map. Today we're going to be playing Bad's Orbital Deathmatch by BAD Fluppy. Map description reads, Deathmatch in the Orbital Docks. Watch your step, full custom Geo Arena. And I'm joined today by Friendly Fire. How you doing, Friendly Fire? Are you ready for a little bit of Deathmatch? Oh yeah, I'm ready. I'm excited to see what this map's about and uh, should be fun. Okay. Fantastic. So we're going to be playing this map for the very first time, um, giving our commentary as we do. And then, of course, after the match is concluded, we're going to discuss the map, talk about what we liked, what we didn't, give a little favorite, least favorite. So feel free to stick around for the discussion. Now, I always like uh, playing BAD Fluffy maps. He always does a lot of really good custom geo. So hopefully he... Put a little custom geo into this deathmatch arena as well. Oh yeah, and look at the creation date. This is uh, this is really new. Yeah, well he he said he made this ma match with us in mind. So uh, ooh, gonna be, gonna be pretty interesting to see what he came up with. Well, you know that now you've uh, piqued my interest. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's like uh. Nothing but static rifles. <laughs> That'd be terrible. But I guess there is... Uh, I guess there is, like, fall damage. Because it says watch your step. So... Oh, I can only imagine what that means. Yeah, it, it, there's... I'm guessing there's a way you can fall into outer space or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh I like playing a good old death match, you know, map now and again, just to change things up, you know. Yeah, I guess that's something I really never did a whole lot of in Doom. I never really did their multiplayer that much. I've never even launch multiplayer <laughs> I think I've done it a couple times and that was back when I first got it and yeah I've I've never it, actually it I've never even tried their multiplayer online all I've done is play I, I played through the campaign once and then once that finished I just did snap map and that's it I don't know if I finished the campaign I don't think I did but I know I played a lot of it. Do you remember beating the Spider Mastermind? I might not have got to that point. Oh. Yeah, you should probably try to beat the campaign. I played a lot of it, though. I put in a lot of hours on it, but that was when I first got the game. Oh, this looks cool. Ooh, I guess. Oh, there's a lot of custom geo going on here. Oh, I like how you use those little flag posts for the uh, weapon spawn. There he is. Oh. oh yeah, this is pretty cool looking. This reminds me of Quake actually, like Quake Arena. Oh boy. Oh no. <laughs> oh. Huh. Stay out of your death, huh? Okay, so you can have more than just two guns. What does this do? What does that do? Oh shit. <laughs> I'm just trying gotcha. to figure out what that switch did. <laughs> Oh, fuck. I don't even know where you are. Oh, shit. There you are. No! Oh, I didn't die. Oh, that's what that does. It turns on a... a shield thing to protect you from fall damage. Regeneration. Oh, fuck. Regeneration didn't help me with that. <laughs> Oh shit, he like, spawned on me. Whoa! 
Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> took a lot of damage there. Whoa, okay. Shield, shield well, now you can fall again. Nice. I wonder if I can grab that. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Well then. <laughs> I do like the way this map looks though, it looks really nice. It does. Yeah, I was yeah, that's what I was saying. Uh B A D Pluppy does some really good custom geo. Peace. Oh no. Oh oh no. Oh. I almost danced my way into the certain death. Oh, damn! Yeah. <laughs> I was like, where is he? Damn, I don't want this gun. Well, <laughs> I feel like this game basically comes down to whoever gets the gauze cannon wins. <laughs> it is hard to hit you with it, though. But it's definitely seeming like that's the uh, go-to weapon. I'm liking it. Yeah. Making quick work out of you. No kidding. I don't even know where the I do like this map at. a lot, though. This is this is like what I imagine for like a, a deathmatch map. You know, big, wide open area. <laughs> uh, this is embarrassing. What damage? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Well, I know what my least favorite part of this map is going to be. <laughs> that damn gauze cannon. <laughs> well, I think I saw where the sniper rifle was, at least. I can get... Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> <Damn it>. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. <laughs> oh, damn it. Ah! <laughs> Holy shit. I'm a running man now. You better run. Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> Finally! No. No, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> you really love jumping off cliffs, don't you? <laughs> I just sort of accidentally <laughs> fell off. No, it happens. I've been pretty good this match. I don't think I've actually fallen to my death yet. I like that out of this area. Is there any way out of here? Oh, there we go.
Ugh. It's the most useless weapon for this spot. <laughs> I wish a sniper rifle was over here. I got a lot more kills I gotta get oh. to actually end the match. What are we even playing to? Uh, oh, it was countdown I think. now, apparently. There's also a timer, which I like. Oh, no. No! <laughs> <laughs> Did you fall to your death again? Yeah, I know, I can't <laughs> help it. Um. Damn. <laughs> Oh, Damn, fuck. it's hard to hit you. I don't even know how to navigate this level. It's just sort of awkward. Oh, yes. fuck. I finally found where the Gauss cannon was. Oh, that was awesome. Sometimes it is hard to track you. Oh, damn it. <laughs> I, I don't know how I missed you. I was right on you. Oh, come on. Well, now we know what it's like to be at the bottom. Oh, come on. With the gauze man on top. Lucky shot. Damn it. I wish you could sprint in this game. That's part of what makes Deathmatch kind of crummy. Because you yeah. don't have like a lot of the things that you have like in most deathmatch games, kind of really limited on what you can do. Well, oh, fuck me, damn oh, it! Oh, you fell to your death. <laughs> oh, where am I? Oh, here we go. This will work. What happened there? No! Did you fall to your death again? Almost. Oh, damn. How'd you that works. so quick? Did you have a berserk or something? Or a uh, quad damage? No, I just used the micro mod. Oh. Oh, fuck. That worked pretty good. Oh, you fell to your death again. Yeah. It's easy to do, though. Much too easy.
Like I just did that. <laughs> Damn it! <sighs> that sucks. Ooh, nice shot. Thanks. I didn't think you'd be able to hit me in there. Rocket launcher is pretty good, isn't it? Uh, just kind of spray fire them. <laughs> God, I hate I hate not being able to sprint. That's that's what drives me nuts about uh, just playing multiplayer and snap map all together. It's like every every like game like this, you can you know you can sprint so that, and for some reason they thought no, we don't need that. So it makes it so hard to like. Dodge bullets. Where are you? Oh, damn there it. we go. I was hoping you didn't see me. <laughs> ah, you got me. Yeah, I beat you. <laughs> fun it sucks I'm voting it down <laughs> <laughs> I'll vote it up deathmatch custom geo mm. oh wow I guess those suicides really come back to uh, to cost you oh indeed <laughs> God. Played so bad. Well, friendly fire. What do you think about Bad's Orbital Deathmatch? I liked it. It was uh, it was set up the way that a uh, deathmatch should be. Uh, there were times where I was a little annoyed at just how doom. Uh, deathmatch plays, but I think the map itself was really well done. Yeah, I, I, I just feel like uh, it would have been nice if you could have he could have had the speed turned up a little bit, because it, it seems like your default speed is just a little bit too slow for this kind of a deathmatch map. Oh, yeah. That's where I was saying, like, I'm used to playing like, uh, like Call of Duty and stuff, where like if you're gonna be in a tight spot, you, you can sprint at least, you know. Yeah. With this one, you just kind of have your custom speed and you can try to jump all you want, but depend. I don't know. But I, I liked it, I thought it looked really cool. Oh yeah, it, it definitely looked badass. I mean, it it looked like something that, it was very, rem for me it was very reminiscent of like a Quake 3 Arena deathmatch mm -hmm. map. Uh, I don't know if you remember that game much, but it, it reminded me a lot of that. And, um, yeah, the Geo was just fantastic, I thought. It looked very convincing. And there, um, there was lots of little places to go pick up different weapons and lots of health, lots of armor. I think I saw it being near, um, probably every gun except the BFG. I, actually, I didn't see like a static rifle or anything. Did you but... find the chainsaw? I saw there was some gasoline you could pick up. I did find it. Although this doesn't seem like a map where the chainsaw would be very helpful, because how many times were we like right next to each other? <laughs> this was mostly a game about sniping each other. It's like, basically the game is whoever gets to the top of the map and gets that gauze cannon dominates. <laughs> I don't know about 
the vortex rifle i didn't ever actually hit you with it i was Not, just sticking with the yeah i only hit you a couple of times with it it's actually really kind of hard to hit somebody with it when they're running around i feel like the gauze cannon like you had like a little bit of air you know you could you didn't have yeah. to hit them dead on i feel like the gauze cannon has like more of like an auto aim to it like you just well, that's a that's close. a whole nother that's a whole nother subject right there when you talk about like quick scoping and does doom like will it automatically lock on if you, you try to quick scope i i haven't even tried doing any of that stuff yeah i don't i don't know how to an i don't know the answer to that maybe <laughs> i haven't played enough death i know i know i wasn't really quick say. scoping though i was i was taking my aim and i was <laughs> there was a couple times I, I thought it was just hilarious like you'd run right into like the uh, like an armor and that's exactly where I'd have my my aim at and as soon as you'd hit it you'd just get uh -huh. taken out and then there was that time you ran up there to get the gauze cannon and like right as you grabbed it I took you out <laughs> I know like you literally killed me when I was standing on top of the gauze cannon or I had picked it up for like a millisecond and then that got blasted <laughs> oh, I think it would I, I mean I I have to say it because it's true I feel like you need more than just two people to really like experience what a, a death match is like because sure yeah the two people it's like where's the other person at it if you have like three or four um, I think it would have been a lot more uh, scrapping there might have been like a couple people who had like gauze cannons who were just like battling it out Right. I think it would have been a, mo a lot more intense with more players. Absolutely. Absolutely. And, and not that many people come to Snap Map to do any kind of deathmatch. Because all that stuff's already in the multiplayer mode. You know, nobody wants to uh, take a shot in the dark with... Even though there is a category for deathmatch in Snap Map. So, I mean, I don't doubt that there are some really good uh, deathmatch maps there. Uh, if people ever get tired of playing the multiplayer ones, but eh, the lobby system for Snap Map is really terrible. You know, you have to wait around forever to get somebody to join you. So, oh, I mean, yeah. if someone's just looking to do some quick death match, they ain't coming to Snap Map. <laughs> so, like, it, that's it kind of just the truth of it, because you think like, if they really love Doom, they'll play the Doom multiplayer. Right. Or more than likely. Is just my opinion. If they're really in the mood for like a deathmatch thing, they'll play one of their, you know, Call of Duty games. That's where I've had all my, uh, the vast majority of my deathmatch has always been in, in those kind of games. I, I think of Doom as more of like a, like a, like a co-op or single player kind of sure. game. Yeah, that's, that's the only thing that's sort of holding me back from making my own deathmatch arena because, I mean, I, I play, uh, a deathmatch arena like, uh, like this one here, Orbital Deathmatch, or even like uh, the one we played from Z-Manzilla, the Devil City Shootout one. And it kind of gives me a case of Deathmatch Arena Fever, where I want to go ahead and just make a Deathmatch, but... Eh, you know, my time is... I just feel like my time is so valuable, and... I would just, I would just be concerned that nobody would play it, because not that many people that's, play that's Deathmatch. That's, that, that's one thing you kind of have to accept before you even do it, is... Yeah. You could spend you could spend like 500 hours, you know, making a map that's going to get played by 10 people, you know. I don't think I'd spend that much time making a deathmatch map. <laughs> well, I guess but, okay, maybe not deathmatch, but uh, no, you know I what I mean. I though. You could spend, like you a... could spend a lot of time, and, and any any <laughs> amount of time that you spend building a map that no one is going to play is is time that you could have been doing something else with your life, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so you really have to that's why like nowadays like i don't even i don't even start building a snap map until i've really thought about what i want to make and sort of thought i i usually have to mentally build it in my mind before i even commit to starting it just because i want to make sure well, for that me, if I it's, dedicate it's just the time, a, i don't waste my time it's making the commitment to actually to build it all too because it's so much it's you know like you're not going to be able to build it in a weekend so it it is it's like a project. Yeah, it's one of those things where you just have to like accept the fact that it's going to take a long time and just just aim to do a little bit each day and don't try to knock it all out in one sitting. 
But uh, but anyway, <laughs> back to this. So map. what you wanna you wanna get into uh, favorite least favorite? Um, yeah, sure, I suppose so. Do you want to lead off with uh, favorite? Yeah, my favorite thing would probably be just the way that it was like a big arena. Um, I know in a lot of times when we've played uh, death matches, uh, it can be kind of hard to find each other. Right. And it kind of it kind of makes the game go slow. But I feel like with this one, it's such a wide open arena that it even with just two players, it was easy enough to find each other and that and it's also you know it was a complete custom geo uh you always like to see that and mm -hmm. i just thought it looked really good yeah it certainly looked fantastic but to touch on what you just said yeah i i really appreciated the fact that this arena was all in one module and it essentially was such that you can basically see everything that's going on in the arena <laughs> almost no matter where you are the, the, the entire to an extent, arena. Though, to an, yeah, there, there's still places to hide. Like you, you can still take cover from somebody who's just sniping. Even though it, it is kind of difficult because you know you're to navigate. You know you have to make yourself exposed. And if somebody's just sort of camping with a sniper or rifle, then they're gonna see you probably. And there's not a lot yeah, you can that... do about it when you just got the shotgun. You know, what are you gonna do against somebody with a sniper rifle when you got a shotgun, and you're at the bottom of the map and you gotta do all this parkour to get to anything decent? You know, it you're definitely at a severe disadvantage. So it the way this arena seemed to func this uh, deathmatch arena seemed to function is whoever would get to the top and get the good weapons would just dominate until something until until the the game turned against them and they either somehow fell down or somehow the person at the bottom managed to battle their way to the top and then they became top dog and i think that's just the way that it unfortunately sort of worked in two player mode because there's only two people i think if there was like three or four people then the guy on top wouldn't be able to just focus in on on the guy on the bottom like they would be too distracted because because if you got more than one person climbing their way up to the top, then you can't just focus on one person and, and keep pegging them. You know, you have to actually divide your attention, and that's how somebody's going to be able to creep up there and get you. But one on one, it was just too easy for one person to just sort of dominate the map for far too long once they got to the top, where all the arm, where all the good weapons and armor are, by the way. So what was, uh, I didn't catch it, what was your most favorite thing about this map? Oh, okay, well I didn't say what it was, but, uh... <clears throat> my favorite thing about the map, honestly, was the uh, custom geo. I know that's something you touched on, but I really want to nail home just how good I thought the custom geo was. Uh, it, it legit looked like something... It, it did not look like something a... a... Uh, a casual snap mapper would have made it does look very very professionally done <laughs> so I mean just a, a tip in my hat to bad fluffy's custom geo skills I mean the map looks out of this world fantastic uh, just absolutely beautiful and very abstract too you know it's not like a bunch of square rooms and you know it, the geo was was it looked very inspired and very interesting. So, the custom geo uh, was my favorite part. So yeah, custom geo. What was okay. your uh, least favorite part about the map? We kind of talked about it already, um, and I don't know how much of this kind of falls into the uh, single player, you know, like one on one, you know only having two people in the death match but there were times where I would spawn and I wouldn't even I didn't even have a weapon that I felt like I could even like fight back with uh, especially like because you it seems like you always spawn down low and then like the people with the good guns would be up top there just didn't seem to be like a lot of times there didn't seem to be like enough cover you know right and it, it especially because because like let's be honest like 
I took you out a whole bunch with uh, the sniper rifle. You hit me a couple times. Neither one of us, honestly, are probably that good at sniping. No. And I feel like with <laughs> how open the me. map was... I'm more of a shotgun man. <laughs> with how open the map was, you know, it could have easily... Somebody who's good at sniping could really just... Could really just take a number on somebody. Um, yeah, so I feel like... It would have been maybe like nice if there if there was some kind of like I wouldn't say like a safe haven but maybe like some covered area where you couldn't really see them and it would give them a chance to run around and pick up some decent guns yeah there there were some covered spots okay so from from somebody who spent a lot of time at the bottom of the map <laughs> let me tell you there there are some places where you can take cover like, there was this hallway that had a bunch of armor pickups in it, and then if you went to the end of the hallway, there was, like, this uh, triple-action shotgun you could pick up. And, uh, I mean, that was a good spot to take cover. Unfortunately, when you're down there, you don't have anything that's decent to fire. See, that's the thing, is when you're at the bottom of the map, where all the cover is, you don't have any good weapons that can really be effective against somebody who's at the top with a, a really good ranged weapon because you start out with a with a shotgun which is a close quarters combat weapon i don't even think this map should okay it can have a shotgun but i don't think you should start out with a shotgun like i think with this kind of an, ar an arena deathmatch map you should start out with a ranged weapon like maybe a uh like maybe a uh um assault rifle, ass assault with, rifle zoom with a zoom mod yeah i was about to say that I think that I think that'll probably be a better weapon to start out the a player with, because then even if you start out at the bottom, and the dude at the top's got you know all decked out with the gauze cannon, at least you have a you have a fighting chance. You know you can still fight back. You're not it's not a total fish in the barrel situation, uh, like it is when the person spawning just has a a shotgun which literally can't even hit the guy at the top. So uh, yeah, so so your your thing was just like not enough cover. Yeah, because I feel like if we, you know, if we had played like a lot, and I mean a lot more Doom uh, Deathmatch, and we were more savvy with the guns, I feel like somebody could really just over and over and over and over again, especially if they put, picked like the right ledge somewhere way up high where you could almost see everything. Uh huh. You could, you could do a. It could, it could easily see somebody who's really good at sniping getting like 10 kills in a row with the player never being alive more than like 25 seconds. So I guess one of the things that I really liked about it initially also kind of kind of towards the end made me think twice was is it almost seemed just too open and and I think I think the way you would fix that is by like given the player a, a range gun at least so you can fight back because yeah, like i think like I the first saying. minute of each time like i'd spawn i felt like you know it was almost like i was running for my life you know uh you, yeah you're just, <laughs> just kind of pray that, 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 that he can't hit you you know <laughs> <laughs> just kind of praying that i don't get picked off you you really are a fish that a fish in a barrel at that point and that's what i was saying about how in, in two-player mode uh, this map just sort of switches off between whoever's on top with the gauze cannon is just dominating and whoever's at the bottom with their shitty shotgun that's totally ineffective is just a fish in a barrel. And it's just a question of how long can you dominate before you fall, to, you accidentally fall off or something and fall to your death. Speaking of but that, that what, what something... do you think about the, the falling to your death thing? That seemed to come into play you know, quite a bit. That That is... I kind of liked it, honestly. Like, that didn't bother me, because that just means that you have to be careful where you're going. Yeah. Um, you know, obviously, I, I mean, you fell more than I did. I fell, I think I fell, like, two or three times. Right. I think you might have fell... I fell a lot. Five times? <laughs> I, fell a I think lot. you might have fell five times, I think, if I remember. You, you fell quite a bit. Yeah. Um, but then again, that just kind of adds to like the random chaos of a map, you know. Like, it it all it kind of works out in the favor of making it more fair, I guess you could say. Because then, like, the person up there with the sniper rifle mm -hmm. 
they might just take themselves out on accident. You and know? I think I probably did that at least once. <laughs> <laughs> Where I just sort of accidentally, uh, you know, shimmied my way off the edge and, you know, fell to my death on accident. Yeah, because yeah. there, there were definitely times where like I, I would jump off of a ledge and then be like, oh wait, I forgot, there's just space beneath me, and then I would just fall to my death. <laughs> <laughs> so I think a lot of that though is just sort of, is just sort of getting familiar with the map, and just sort of learning the geo of where things are and and what, where sort of the, what what ledges you can actually reach with your double jump and which ones are a little too far. Because there are also some times where I thought I could make a jump, and I just couldn't make it. And I would fall to my death then, also. So. Yeah. I mean, uh, as far as an environmental hazard, you know, I thought it was fine. Um, it was I liked how you could disable the fall, too. How you could turn that, that sort of shield thing on, where you could just walk over the uh, space. Yeah, I thought that was kind of an interesting thing. That was That was interesting, although we didn't really use it that much because I think you uh, I think the purpose of doing that is so that there's like a mega health at the bottom of the map and there's probably something else down there too uh, but I know I saw a mega health and I think you can only get it if you walk across the open space to grab it but here's the problem with that is the switch to turn on the shield is at the top of the map and the mega health is at the very bottom, so in order to jump down and grab the mega health, you have to give up your position at the top of the map, which is advantageous to you if you're trying to be up there with a gauze cannon or whatever and dominating. So well, the, it's only, also one of those the things, only way it would ever it's really make sense things. to jump down and, and, and grab that mega health is if you were seriously low on health and you thought for sure you were going to die. But there's already a lot of armor and health at the top of the map anyway, so it, to me it almost doesn't make sense to have it. Well, that that's interesting that you brought that up, because in a map like this with the weapons that we had, how much health you have doesn't matter as much as it, it does in other matches, because there's so many one-shot kill weapons that, you know, even if you do have full health and armor, it's you're still going down with one shot from the gauze cannon. Yeah. So it almost... It almost shifts the emphasis from away from trying to like have full health and armor and more to being the one to have that first shot you know i can't help but wonder if he turned up the damage because i know there was a time where you started hitting me with those micro missiles and i swear you didn't hit me enough for me to get killed but i did i shot like six because i aimed pretty good before i fired and i unloaded all six onto oh. you so i think well, I think that just does quite fair a bit enough. damage. I mean, I, I just sort of assumed they did the same amount of damage as the Revenant's missiles. I mean, I could be wrong about that. But uh, could also be one of those things that since they actually hit you and they weren't just like next to you, they do even more damage. Oh yeah, maybe they were. Maybe it was just that they were direct hits. I I just felt at the time that it was uh, doing more damage than it ought to have. Yeah, but I guess I'm just not that familiar just been enough my interpretation. with. Uh... I don't know. Um, well, I mean, it, it, it seems, though, that if he was going to be tinkering around with stats, he would have at least upped your speed a little bit. Yeah, I'm not familiar enough with Deathmatch to really know if it's... if that really had anything to do with it or not, to be honest. I don't know. Well, uh, I think I still owe a least favorite. Alright, let's hear it. My least favorite thing was uh, regarding the custom geo. <laughs> so even though the custom geo was my favorite thing, uh, I felt like the layout of the map was problematic because in a lot of deathmatch maps that I've played, there's sort of a natural running path where you can just sort of just sort of easily maneuver your way around the map. But in this map, it was sort of laid out awkwardly where if you were at the bottom, there was no easy way to sort of maneuver around the arena without making a bunch of awkward jumps. And there were times where like I would I would walk to a certain part of the map and then just sort of look around like where the hell am I supposed to go? Like I feel like I'd walked into a dead end or something. And there just wasn't 
the 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 arena didn't really have like a natural flow like in a deathmatch map you sort of want there to be you want the 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 geo to sort of have a natural flow where you can just sort of always be running somewhere and this didn't have that i always felt i always got the sense that i was sort of running into dead ends and and not knowing where to go and where to jump and then i would get hit by like a gauze cannon blast or something and that just happened quite a lot where it just felt like there were too many dead dead ends in this map and it didn't sort of have a i mean i keep repeating myself with the flow but literally a flow of movement for running around it, it just the, the map was just sort of laid out in an awkward fashion for me it didn't it didn't feel like there was a lot of natural movement to it if that makes sense yeah i think uh, i think i see where you're coming from um yeah I, I think we pretty much said everything we have to say about this map uh want to wrap it up yeah let's call it okay so that was bad's orbital death match by bad fluffy uh beautiful custom geo absolutely um a lot of fun action honestly and some pretty unique concepts as far as the being an outer space bit and the environmental hazard of sort of just falling to your death a lot of good weapons and it's uh in two player match it feels a little bit unbalanced but you know what i bet with three or four people playing it at once uh you won't have that whole one person at the top just sort of dominating everything you'll have enough chaos to keep keep a good churn of who gets to be in uh top dog so uh this is one i would think i would recommend for more than two players but ultimately ultimately it was uh, a lot of fun to play even though i got slaughtered pretty badly and uh, it's definitely <laughs> worth checking out if nothing else just for the geo so any final thoughts friendly fire oh i think we pretty much said everything we we had to say Alrighty then. So, Bad's Orbital Death Match. Check it out.